Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 1998 for Nintendo 64, the sequel to Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. Or so that's the intent. The reality is that Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98 is less a full-blown sequel and more of an incremental update, much like an annual entry in an EA Sports franchise of video games where the differences between this year's entry and the last year's entry were truly superficial and minor additions that really don't mean much in the long term. Sure, there's a bit of an updated roster pool and some options to modify teams through traits and stuff, at least without the need for cheat codes. And yes, there are still cheat codes for goofy big heads or things of that nature. There's even a couple historical teams you could unlock with cheats. But when you get past a few minute additions, tweaks, and other bits of minutia, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey is pretty much the same game that came out when it was just called Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey. Not that there's anything wrong with that. The original Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey game was a fun little hockey game that emphasized a more fast-paced arcade game of high-speed, high-impact antics over somewhat realistically simulated hockey games. Much like in the previous game, you could either play a quick game against the CPU or play a season of various sizes, or just go for the multiplayer fun where the game's true value resides. You have your choice of either 3-on-3 arcade-style play for faster-paced action, or you could go for sim mode and play with full teams and more rules in effect. The choice, of course, is yours, but the game will always retain that arcade mentality regardless of which style you play. As in the previous game, control is responsive, works well enough for the game to be playable, and still retains the button configuration option to remap the buttons to your own preferences. You can move the player with either the D-pad or the analog stick, and once again, there's no real difference between either because... Meh. And while seasons and things of that nature offer some bits for a single player exhibition, the game enjoys its worth when played with buddies, cuz everything is better with more people in the same room. The key phrase being the same room. Compared to its predecessor, the graphics in this 98 edition of Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey only sees a marginal improvement in that the players look maybe a little better in terms of the uniforms and, and various appearances, but again, the improvement is only superficial at best, and on a whole, the overall quality is pretty much the same. The same layouts, the same camera views and motions, the same speed, same everything barring the new stuff that they added in, which isn't much. It's not a generally bad looking game for what it is. It's not great, but it's not bad, but at the same time, it would have been nice to see a bit of a quality upgrade here and there. I don't know what, but something where it doesn't look like the exact same game. Sound Department in Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98 is virtually unchanged from the previous game. A lot of the same tunes, jingles, sound effects, and voiceovers have been carried over from that initial entry, along with some new bits to accommodate the new bits that were added into this game back when this game was new in 1998-ish. Now with that having been said, if you've not played that first game, you have some generic music for the menu, some organ music for big moments during gameplay, some solid commentary that gets a bit repetitive after a while but still lively enough, and sound effects are adequate enough. So on the whole, the sound is alright, but not much different from what the game before had. And that's about it really. Overall, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey 98 does everything the first Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey game did and not much else. It's the same great arcade-style hockey game that's perfect for, for a uh, quick-paced multiplayer party, but if the last game didn't do much for you, then this one isn't going to change your mind all that much. Quite frankly, everything I've said in regards to the previous game and the previous video can easily apply to this entry, save for the minor differences here and there. At the end of the day, it all boils down to which set of out dated NHL rosters you want to play with on your N64 and not much else. Fun game, good for a party, but been there, done that.